Hey guys, I'm Zockley and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a rundown on the basic controls in the Space Engineers using the Xbox Gamepad. Now before we get started I want to point out that you can always use a mouse and keyboard plugged into your Xbox and uh, by doing so that will switch you to the standard uh, layout that you're used to seeing on PC. Going back to the gamepad you'll see it will switch again and for the purpose of this video we have an Xbox One controller uh, overlay so you can see exactly what I'm pressing as you play the game here. Before we go any further it's worth pointing out also that if you ever need to look up all the controls to the gamepad, you can press the menu button on your Xbox and then Y and this will bring up the help screen and we've got the controls for keyboard and mouse here and then by going down to gamepad controls we can look over those basic controls for character control, jetpack and ship control. And now in the advanced gamepad uh, screen we actually have pretty much all of the combinations you'll ever need to know on Xbox. So if you have any questions, any uh, anything you want to look up, you can come in here and you can see all the various categories. You've got tools, survival only, character build planner, uh, so many features of Space Engineers and uh, all the combinations and keys uh, are all featured in this help screen. So definitely use that if you ever get stuck and you forget any particular control, um, that's easy to find there. So, moving on to the basic controls here. We've got uh, the left stick for standard forward movements, left, right and back. And the right stick for looking around. And then we can actually control the movement speeds of our character uh, with the, uh, by pushing the stick, the left stick, by various amounts. So switching between uh, walk, uh, jog and then sprint. Now, uh, by pressing A we can jump, pressing B we can crouch and now we're going to move on to the jetpack controls because they're a little bit different. So by pressing Y we can activate the jetpack and then we can use A to ascend and B to descend. Now the, uh, the other movements are the same but when we want to roll instead of pan we press the left bumper. So we press left bumper here and then I use the right stick you can see how I'm actually uh, switching between panning and rolling depending on if I have that left bumper pressed. That's uh, something a little bit different for Jetpack. Now, one of the main things about the Xbox uh, gamepad experience is the fact that there's a lot of modifiers uh, to get all the controls needed to play Space Engineers. Uh, many of those will come by using the bumpers and also the, uh, the sticks. I want to quickly switch to uh, third person to show you um, the controls and the, the character here. So when I press right bumper and then up on the D-pad I can switch to third person and uh, it's the same if I want to go back to first person, right bumper and the up on the D-pad to go back. So a lot of these modifiers you'll just remember as you play Space Engineers and once you've got it you won't even need to think about it, it'll just be you know right bumper up and then I'm back. So now we're in third person I can quickly go over to one more thing regarding the jetpack control and that is dampeners and this, is, this can save you fuel um, when flying around but you won't automatically stop so to uh, enable or disable the dampeners I can press the left bumper and then Y and that will disable them and you can see them in the bottom left there red and now I'll drift unless I manually thrust in the other direction and turn that back on, it's left bumper and Y. So that's, uh, that kind of sums up the basic jetpack controls. Now if we come back down and press Y to turn off our jetpack and we'll land on this platform with artificial gravity, we can move around here and again you can see those speeds of the character changing depending on how far I press those, uh, how far I move those uh, left stick there. So the main thing about Xbox, there's a lot of radial menus, menus involved so uh, the first one is the one right next to me here and this is your toolbar so by using the d-pad I can switch between the various tools and the the rifle here and when I press the bumpers you can see those pages of the uh, the radial menu here changing now to activate, uh, if we press the left bumper, you can see we've got some options here and on the right D-pad now, while holding the left D, uh, left bumper, we have the option to disable and enable the HUD. 
can have a more cinematic experience here. But it's worth noting you want to remember that one before you turn it off because if you, uh, of course, uh, forget it, then you, it'd be quite hard to get back. So that is, again, left bumper and right on the D-pad there. Uh, also in this left bumper, we've got the chat on the, on the bottom. And we've also got the uh, progression tree and contracts menu as well. So on the right bumper, going back now to this first radial menu, I've already pointed out that on the top we've got the uh, spectator controls from first to third person. On the right D-pad, we can turn on our light, headlight, left, open the visor of the helmet, which isn't visible in space, by the way, so I'm going to leave that closed for now. And also we can open up the color picker and this will be uh, important later when we're going to be building ships and stations and want to paint them with a certain color or skin. So we can back out of that for a second here and you can actually see just next to me using the D-pad has now switched this painting mode where we've got, we can switch between the different skins and the colors of the toolbar. But to get back to empty hands, this is where we uh, will be introduced to our second radial menu. So by pressing left stick, we can bring up the block uh, menu here with the various tabs, which we can switch between using the triggers. We have armor, we have uh, production, gas, ship essentials, various different panels here. And the, the most recent blocks you use will appear in this first screen here. Um, now, using the left stick, we can pan around these and select the ones that we want to actually equip and use. So, just to do kind of basically here, we can select the light armor block, which is the common building block in Space Engineers. So, once you've got that on the D-pad selected, I can then press right bumper to confirm this selection. And now I have that uh, block onto my uh, placement hand. Now, we've already changed the skin and the color of this block when we opened up the color picker earlier. So here we've got a green digital camo light armor bot being placed. I'm using right trigger to place blocks and uh, left trigger to delete blocks while aiming at them. It's normally easy to build in first person though, it's worth pointing out. And we can get back to that at any time by pressing the right bumper and then up on the D-pad. So I'm not going to go into building too much in this video, we can do that in a later tutorial. But this is, again, just going over some of the, the basic uh, things to help you get started here. Now to empty our hands, we can press left stick again, and then in the middle is empty hands, and then we just confirm. And now I'm back to having uh, empty hands here. When you get started with the game, um, you can choose one of these custom worlds to have some fun on and it spawns with a bunch of ships for you to jump in and try. So let's go try a ship right now. Let's go over to this uh, fighter. Let's switch back to first person here. And when we look at the cockpit, it'll be highlighted and by pressing X, we can enter that cockpit here. Now, this, the ship controls are actually uh, very similar to the jetpack controls here. So I can use A to ascend, B to descend, and then that uh, important left bumper and right stick to switch between panning and rolling. Now the ship is already being set up and it's configured with some weapons and on the the toolbar, the radial toolbar to my uh, left, oh not to my left, uh, here, <laughs> we have uh, a couple of things already assigned. We've got uh, Gatling guns on the top, we've got rocket launchers on the right and we have the ability to turn off the antenna on the ship as well there. So let's have some. Sh let's fire some shots here. If I select the Gatling on the up, on the D-pad, there we go. Fire some missiles as well there. And by pressing right bumper, we can see another page of that uh, um, radial menu to switch to third person in the, the the ship as well there. So also useful. The the, the bottom option on the RB screen is to turn off the ship. Don't want to do that right now though. And the left bumper is again similar to the character. We've got the option to disable the uh, toolbar and open the chat and so on. 
Now, we come to a couple of different uh, combinations here to change the actual uh, toolbar pages, which will be set up later when you have a more complex ship. So by pressing the left stick and B, we can see we have an empty, there's nothing here, but here you could add the ability to turn off various components, uh, select different weapons and all kinds of things. Um, but we can, you can set that up later, but this is just showing how you're using the, the left stick now to actually uh, have some of these combined keybinds here. The dampeners, also the same on the ship. Uh, by pressing left bumper and Y, we can disable those dampeners and now the ship will just be drifting in that direction in space uh, forever. And uh, the only way to kind of control the ship now, I have to thrust in that direction to offset that, but it's, this is mainly a, a fuel saving method to flight um, because once you've kind of set a target, you can thrust in that direction and then turn off your thrusters and let you drift in that direction. Then once you get towards that destination, you can turn on your dampeners again with the left bumper and Y and then you'll automatically come to a stop there. So once you've had fun flying around for a bit um, and you want to get out the ship, you can press X anytime to leave the cockpit. Now I'm falling because of the gravity, so I want to quickly put on my jetpack with Y because uh, the artificial gravity was pulling me down. But of course, if you were out in deep space, you would just be floating next to your ship there. So that's also something to note there. Now, some of the other essential menus coming up. By using the right stick, pressing the right stick, we open the, the kind of other tools uh, screen and we can pan through these. We've got some quick actions here. We've got some admin menus. We've got spectator, uh, voxel hand for uh, painting with voxels. And if I go over these quick actions, again, you can see the, the we've got the same toggle first and uh, third person. We've got those dampeners controls as well there. So even if you don't remember the, the key binds initially, you can always open up this second radial menu with the right stick and you can do it via this way instead. RB and X to toggle on your personal uh, broadcasting for your jetpack, your suit, sorry. See the helmet there, and you've, you've actually seen these before in the, um, the toolbar radial menu that we normally see, but they're also in this menu too. So we can, apps, we can open some admin menus, there's help screen, blueprints, I can respawn, uh, open the chat. So more of the things which are actually uh, shortcutted in various ways can also be found here um, if you forget any of them. So that's the second uh, or the third radial menu in the game. Now let's come into this door here. So interacting with objects other than uh, cockpits. But it's very similar. X is the, the kind of standard interact with key. So opening doors you can run up to and uh, press X. See some, okay. So you can run through this large ship now. You can even take control of this large ship and take this out for a spin. Okay. Now we want to switch to third person. There we are. Now it's not going to fly like the, the small ship, but it, it's, uh, the controls are exactly the same. You can see you've got some different options on this toolbar here. Uh, enabling weapons, for example, are set up. What else have we got here? Um, opening the hangar doors, uh, turning on the beacon. So yeah, multiple pages there set up on this ship toolbar. Another one of the uh, screens you'll often find yourself using in Space Engineers is the terminal screen. So if we come up to any functional block that has one of these blue screens, we can press LB and RB at the same time and the view key on the Xbox controller to open up the control panel. Now here we see um, tabs for different systems. You've got inventory, control panel, production, and these can be flicked through with the triggers, a bit like the, the various tabs of the radial menu. And then to move around the, this, this screen here, we've got the D-pad to flick through. So we can flick up, down, left and right to 
go to the various options, controlling the power of gyroscopes, turning blocks on and off. There's a ton of customization in this terminal screen. Um, and we can also use the, the right stick to scroll bar uh, with various speeds if you want to be quick about it. The left stick in this screen also acts like D-pads. Um, you can flick around, move around more fluidly with it. But personally, I prefer using the D-pads uh, for more accuracy in this screen here. So yeah, this, this, all the various boxes, checkboxes, sliders can all be accessed uh, via the D-pads. And we've got some hints, and you'll see this quite a lot actually in the game, in various uh, screens, you'll get hints about the, the controls of the gamepads at the very bottom there. So we're not going to go into all the systems because this is again about the basic controls but this, this will definitely show you how you can access these various screens here and get around them. So coming out of that I've actually remembered something else which is quite cool and that is the emote uh, screen. So when you press both left bumper and right bumper in um, your character we are greeted with the emote uh, menu and let me quit first switch to third person here so we see this better. And then once we do that again, we've holding down both uh, bumpers. We can do wave on the D-pads, face, face palm with the uh, bottom D-pads. And also by pressing A and B, we can actually switch between the, the different screens of the uh, emotes. Some included with certain DLC, of course. We've got the, my favorite, the dance emote there on the right on the second page. <laughs> so, that's uh, another fun one for when you're playing with your friends and uh, want to get their attention. So I'm back safely on the, the main platform now and we've seen the terminal, but I wanted to open up the terminal uh, when actually you're just standing with your character. So by pressing the view button on your Xbox controller, you can open up your personal inventory and you can see exactly what your character is carrying. You can see uh, normally by default you have the tools and uh, some ammunition as well. We've got some hydrogen bottles and oxygen bottles too to keep us topped up. Although, um, as we're playing in creative mode right now, these won't be used. And we can still go across these screens, but some of these screens are only appropriate when you're connected to a ship. Um, so you see both of these are important, but the faction screen, communications, GPS, can all be accessed um, just when you're moving around with your character there. So another important screen so that concludes this video on the basic controls for Space Engineers. Of course, there are many more controls to learn relating to more individual systems like building or its survival gameplay. And uh, the next video in this tutorial series should be uh, how to build your first ship. So hopefully I'll see you there. I hope this helped uh, to get to grips with the basic gameplay controls. And until next time, guys, see ya.